Hello everyone, welcome back to Denver Beard Reviews. Thank you all for stopping by the channel today, checking out this video. If you could, please like, subscribe, and of course share with your bearded friends. Today's episode will be discussing a company that has a worldwide following, um, has an affiliate program with thousands of followers, and is one of those companies that you constantly hear about throughout the Baird game. Please stand by after the short introduction and I'll jump right into the review. guys welcome back and again thank you all for stopping by the channel today's episode I'll be discussing the company the beard struggle they've been around since 2015 and their owners name is Faisal they focus their entire company around a Nordic or Viking theme that is commonly seen throughout the beard game um, they ship their products worldwide and they have a very large following um, their affiliate program called the Beard Vikings actually includes over 14,000 members. Um, the Beard Vikings, as they're known, have a strong community and have built almost a beard club type environment on Discord uh, where people can connect and beer, build friendships and just be there for one another. Uh, they are one of the largest entities within the bearded community. Uh, but with size, often comes cutbacks in the quality of their products, poor customer service, false promises, or claims of the product or services being provided that are simply false. Um, throughout this review, I'll go over certain details, um, but with that being said, let's jump right into the review. Instead of actually purchasing the full-size products, I've heard I've heard and seen multiple things on the internet about this company so I actually purchased one of their sample packs which included um, three packs of different scent profiles within their daytime beard oil or what they call day liquid tonic um, so I do have more of the samples um, but I'll go over the ones that I've opened and actually used in beard. Um, in the samples, you probably get, for my length of beard, I think I got maybe three uses total out of each packet. Uh, you just kind of have to be careful with these little envelope packagings that they come in. Um, just so that they don't drip all over your countertop or anything like that. Um, but I was able to get about three uses out of each packet. Um, their one ounce beard oils, they'll run you anywhere between $18.49 to $24.49 US dollars, depending on the scent profile chosen for either their day liquid tonic or their night liquid elixir. Again, these, ju these are just the sample packs, but they come in um, black bottles with a dropper top. Um, if you get one of the higher uh, platinum collection scent profiles, it actually includes a fourth of an ounce more of the oil, too, in a more premium square bottle with a dropper top. Um, labels, real nice, simple, but clean and classy artwork. Really cool logos for the scent profiles in here, guys. And these are what you see on the... Um, actual bottles of the beard oil themselves as well. Ingredients. Now, again, they have a daytime beard oil and a nighttime beard oil. These are the ingredients, and I'll go over the difference. The daytime is abyssinian oil, sunflower seed oil, castor oil, babusa oil, vitamin E, squalene oil, jojoba oil, and fragrance for their fragrance profiles, fragrance oils. Um, 
The nighttime, the only difference is they've removed the sunflower seed and the vitamin E. Consistency of the oil, I, I consider this maybe like a medium to light oil. Pretty clear for the most part, maybe just a slight hinge of yellow color to it. I received three scent profiles. Icer's Triumph, Black Rain, and Surtur's Fury. The Icer's Triumph is a sweet incense, tobacco, whiskey, and cinnamon profile. I get a little bit of the incense and maybe tobacco, I don't get a lot of the cinnamon hit in there or any of the whiskey. The Black Rain, which is one of their limited edition scent profiles, this consisted of lemon, apple, cedar, pink pepper, violet, pineapple, cinnamon, melon, sage, jasmine, amber, cedar, guyac wood, musk, and vanilla bean. A little bit of citrusy with some woody notes, maybe some greenery. That's what I get out of it. And then the last one, Surtur Fury, leather, warm, spicy, smoky, and earthy. And I don't get a whole lot of anything out of this one. That's, there's two main complaints that I have with these oils. The first, the scent profiles are lacking. Um, they're not real strong. And you know, guys, from many of my reviews in the past, I always mention I like a nice, strong profile. I know that there's recommendations through the government and all of that for levels of scent profile. It's a recommendation, guys. It's not law. It's not anything that anybody has to completely follow, and many companies stare away from the recommendation. Um, I, the, they're lacking. Like, for instance, in the Surtur's Sir Fury, I just I don't smell much of anything. I maybe get a little, little bit of the leather on the front end, but there's not much there. Um, of the three, my favorite had to be the Black Rain, and it's a limited edition. And the reason why is because it has some nice citrus notes in there, and I'm a big fruit fan. I mean, of the three, Black Rain is where it's at as far as comparing the three. However, they're just not strong. Um, I probably got maybe an hour max out of the out of the uh, scent profile as far as strength. The other complaint that I have with the oil is even though it has some carrier oils within the blend that are supposed to be very easy and absorbing, they weren't. Um, I didn't use any more oil than I would normally, but it just simply didn't absorb into my skin. Again, I don't know that this is just a personal experience, but as many oils as I've tried over the last two years, or just through reviewing, and then again, 20 years of having a beard total, it just didn't absorb. It literally just sat in my beard and I was a greasy mess for the entire day. It just wasn't a pleasant experience for me, guys. I did like to see that they had squalene in it. I'm a huge fan of squalene. I've tried a few other companies that have squalene oil in it, and it's a wonderful oil, and it significantly helps with the beard acne, or just any acne even around the beard. Um, it's a really good carrier oil for that purpose. Yeah, guys, I'm, I just did not have an overall pleasant experience with these oils. Uh, did not absorb well. The scent profiles are weak, and I, personally, I don't understand the need of labeling a product daytime versus nighttime. Literally, in my opinion, in my thoughts, it should be, we have this one carrier blend or this option. Pick which one you want. The only difference is, is one, ha one has sunflower seed oil and vitamin E, and the other does not.
If you prefer those two ingredients to be out, pick the other one. They have a huge following. I commend them for their followers and affiliates. Um, they do seem to have a very strong brother-like feel to what they've grown within their affiliate program. Um, but when it comes to daytime versus nighttime, it's completely up to you guys. It's your personal preference. You do not need a different oil for daytime versus night. Just pick which oil you would prefer. If you don't want vitamin E in there, just pick the day, uh, pick the nighttime. If, if you want to try them all together, pick the daytime. Um, I don't. This is why I chose to pick up the sample packet because I was going into this not knowing what to expect, if it would be a positive or negative experience. But after this, I can honestly say that I don't plan on purchasing any other products. Um, I feel that there are better carrier oil blends that work better for me personally. Uh, and again, I like nicer, stronger scent profiles and I'll stand by that no matter what. Um, I feel that the money spent within this company is more towards their marketing and packaging rather than the actual products themselves. I feel like that is why you see many others with similar experiences. Um, they have a great marketing team. Um, they're Advertisings are awesome. If you have a beard, I know for a fact at some point in your life you've had to see one of their advertisements in their videos. Um, but yeah, guys, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about the beard struggle. Share your experiences. And if you have any questions, let me know. Until next time, guys, this is Denver signing out. And I look forward to seeing you all on the next episode. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And take care. See ya.